I have feelings for my grandma. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We all possess secrets, some more than others. So I'm gonna be reading confessions that y'all felt comfortable to send to me. And uh, some of y'all were a little bit too comfortable. In the past, I'll usually have an email that y'all would send all your confessions to, but this time around, I actually created a Google form and y'all went ham. Y'all went a little too crazy, okay? Y'all sent 8,000 confessions. Who was reading all that? I had to close it. I had to shut it down because I said, uh-uh. You no, know, at first I was mad because I was like, this is a little too much, but then I realized the reasons are gonna come full force. And if you don't know that I made that post, that means you probably don't look at my community tab on YouTube or you probably don't follow my Instagram at court Reezy. or you probably don't follow my Twitter at court Reezy with the underscore or you probably don't follow my TikTok, which is court Reezy with a zero so you know what that means go and follow that go and follow it go and follow it and also I know that all of my social media handles are different everywhere someone took my name I don't know why that's why it's different everywhere but follow but yeah back to the confessions I want to see what y'all are doing what secrets do you guys have because I want to know in my head I want to believe that y'all are sweet nice human beings I want to think that you guys are normal I really 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 want to think that we are on the same playing field but I'm honestly not sure because I opened up the Google form and the first thing I saw was I have feelings for my grandma <laughs> Is everything okay? Is everything okay? Oh, also, the hair is still here. Y'all are really loving it, but I'm also seeing a lot of people say, change it. <laughs> I've gotten DMs from people, you know, telling me, Courtney, you're a beautiful girl. But orange, ginger is not your color. And you know what? I appreciate the honesty. That's one thing y'all are gonna do, is be honest with me. Right now, I'm really loving it, but if you don't love it, I, I'm not mad. Without further ado, let's get into it. I used to be scared of toilets when I was younger. I can't even judge you because toilets, no, to that's weird. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be mad at you because being a child, I think you're just naturally weird. So this one time I went over to my cousin's house and I had to poop really badly, but I was too scared to go. So I took a big dump in the garage and covered it with a leaf. Excuse me? Excuse me! If you had the ability to go outside and get a leaf to cover up the poop that you dropped in the garage, you could have just released the poop outside. Why would you do that in somebody's garage? You released your excrements in the garage? Did you think that they were gonna be like, oh my god, the dog probably did it? Mm -mm. My cousin saw it and I begged him not to tell and guess what? That snitch told on me anyways. Baby, I would have done it too. Because what is wrong with you? I would have thought something was actually wrong. Because why would you poop in my parents' garage? Why would you do that? Now you're getting in trouble. <laughs> oh, and I also pooped in the shower one time and my mom found it. I'm 28 now and I don't do that anymore. Ha ha ha. Are you sure? <laughs> I just have questions about pooping in the shower. You pooped in the shower because you were afraid of a toilet. Please, I think you need to tell us an age. Like, when did this happen? Because if you were five, okay. Maybe I can't judge you too much. But if you were 15, I dreamt about killing my entire family and I have a plan to murder my dad. <laughs> Set my friend up to get jumped by accident. <laughs> no, no more, please come in. No, seriously, what's going on? Y'all are a lot more violent than I expected. These are two confessions back to back, and you have a plan to end your father. What's going on? Maybe we can erase this from your mind. Jail isn't worth it. And I set my friend up to get jumped by accident. If you were my friend and you set me up by accident, I'm finding a way to ruin your life. Because what do you mean you set it up by accident? How does that happen? How does that happen? What's the saying? Keep your friends close and your enemies close. No. I swear it's keep your friends closer. Oh, it's enemies closer. Okay, well this should be keep your enemies closer and your friends closer. Your friend needs to be watching you. I don't think I've ever been in that position where I've accidentally set someone up to be jumped. That doesn't happen. Why are you talking to her enemies? Because the only people that would jump your friend is her enemies. And the only way you would do it by accident is if you're talking to her enemy. What is going on? If you were my friend and you set me up to be jumped, watch out. Sleep with one eye open. Just sleep with one eye open. I'll find a way to ruin your life in the, in the smallest ways possible. I will steal the left shoe of your favorite pair. Yes, you'll be looking for your favorite pair of shoes and you can't find the left one. I'll find a way to break your car key. You'll be looking everywhere around your apartment for your car keys. I will cause that type of mental pain since you want me to get jumped by accident. Mm. I sucked a random person's toes and they had a fungal infection. So it was gory and flaky and the bits of skin got into my mouth and it was disgustingly delicious. Definitely will try again. 
This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I thought I knew y'all, but I don't. I actually don't. What are you talking about? You felt the flakiness and bits of the skin got into your mouth. What are we talking about right now? And I hope this is just a one person situation. I hope no one else who's watching this video can relate to that situation. Because what do you mean? The skin got into your mouth. And you're happy. You are happy to send to type this message and then send it to me. You are happy. You're laughing. You're smiling with, with, with. <sighs> I don't even know how to talk. Because what's, what's going on in here? My best friend has a boyfriend that I am in love with. I really don't know how to tell her and I really support them dating but then again I don't you don't support them dating and sometimes it's okay to say the truth this is a hard situation because I don't think I've ever been in a position where I looked at my friend's man and said yeah I want him <laughs> No, <laughs> I never did, bro. I think it's also because a lot of times my friends will tell me like bad qualities in the guy and stuff. And it's like, now you, I, I absolutely don't want you. I think you should find your own guy. There are too many men in the world for you to be stuck on your best friends. Also, your friendship is so much more important than that guy. Like, don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. I also think you should try to decide, should, should you tell your friend or not? I don't think you should tell your friend. No, I would want to know if my friend like my man. Cause I'm never bringing him around, that's for sure. But don't tell your friend that you like her man i think one you never know how her reaction is going to be she might be upset and hurt that you've been keeping such a secret from her she might even tell the guy you know so much could happen and also don't ask for details if she decides to tell you stuff about the relationship listen but don't ask for details because if your friend starts to have an inkling that you like him then that's even worse i think yeah that's worse dang maybe you should tell her i don't know do your own thing i don't know i feel like i'd be upset like you've been looking at my man when i bring him around scary but then again it's also like i would appreciate you telling tell her sorry ignore everything i just said tell her but in a nice way just be like i noticed that i've had feelings for your man and i would never ever do anything to sabotage your relationship but i just want to let you know that because i value our friendship literally this i just gave you the template literally say it just like that just like that tweak it if you need to i had a crush on my bestie's boyfriend at the time another one i had a crush on my bestie's boyfriend at the time and i had to just shut up and be happy for her even if it hurt me a little time went by and they broke up that's finally when i told her that i think he's cute and i like him she constantly gave off vibes that she's disgusted by him makes sense because he's your ex only for me to find out they had been sneaking out to the library and other hidden spots to make out i eventually figured out they were back together despite knowing i like him huh? it don't matter if you like him <laughs> uh, no offense no offense no offense but like it doesn't matter if you like him they were once a couple and if they get back together that's perfectly okay you telling your friend that you like her ex-boyfriend is not gonna make her stop liking him and i have to give you the same advice as the last person you need to go and find your own man yes yes sister i know it's gonna be hard mm because this is a scary world right now. <laughs> We're living in a pandemic. You know, there's good ones, but... <laughs> we look it, we look it, we look it. Your own person will come. And I don't think you should be worried about your best friend's ex or current boyfriend now. And the thing is, also, you have to understand that like when girls are in relationships, they're gonna vent about their man and make it seem like he's disgusting or he's annoying or something like that just because they're angry. But they still love that man. Never listen to girls. <laughs> Never, 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 never. Because for me, when my friend is ranting about her boyfriend, I'm just like listening, but like I'm not listening. Because you're just mad right now. You're just mad. When he buys you flowers, you're gonna be all happy again. Like, oh my God, like he's just the best. You were just telling me he stinks. What's going on? Something's not adding up. Wow, so I'm seeing a lot of situations where you guys are falling in love with your best friend's man. I'm gonna need y'all to stop that. One time I went to a friend of a friend's house with my friend of that friend. Anyways, they cooked for us and what I thought seemed to be a pretty basic chicken and rice meal ended up being cooked rats. What are we talking about? What are we talking about right now? Rats? Not gonna lie though, it kind of slaps. Uh-uh. We are done. We are done. You know, you people, you, like I said, I thought I knew my audience. I don't know you guys at all. You guys are scary people. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about right now. What do you mean a slap? You ate a rat. A rodent. It eats everything. I asked why they cooked rat, and they said since there's quite a lot of rats in their house, why not cook them? This is so nasty. This is why you don't eat at everyone's houses. My parents taught me well. My parents have taught me like when you go to people's houses, don't eat the food that they offer. Mostly because, you know, they might be a witch. <laughs> and they might be trying to poison you. But, you know, this is another type of situation where you don't eat at people's houses because they might be giving you cooked rats. And the audacity, the fact that you ate cooked rat and you had the mouth to say, it kind of slapped though. I am scared of you. I am scared of you. Anyways, I'm sure I'll never eat rat again, consciously. And I guess rat is a meat delicacy now? To who? Also, their house is infested with rats, bro. I know the price of eggs, I know the price of everything is going up right now, but I'm telling you it's not that expensive. To the point where you say, I'm going to eat the rats that are running around my home. It should never get that far. Oof.
That's so nasty. Word of advice, don't eat at everyone's houses. You should never judge a book by its cover, but sometimes you just have to. Because sometimes when I look at somebody, you can just tell whose house you don't eat at. I laughed so hard in 10th grade and I- Are you subscribed? Huh? Are they subscribed? Oh yeah! Are you subscribed? If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. And if you don't know what a Reezy is, that probably means that you're new here. Reezy's are the best people on the internet and the only way you can become a Reezy is if you hit the subscribe button, okay? So join the family. You won't regret it. You know, being a Reezy may be one of the best things that happen to a person. Life becomes clearer, more abundant. You feel happier. You get better grades. Your skin is clearer. Things are better. Subscribe and see how your life becomes immaculate. I laughed so hard in 10th grade that I peed myself quite a bit. Except I was with a dude I kind of liked, so I acted like nothing happened and sat there for a while in it, hoping he would leave quickly. But it got to a point where I even started to smell it. What do you mean? What do you mean you started to smell it? Are you telling me that you actually just like fully peed on yourself? I thought we, you know, you did a little giggle and you like, <laughs> a little peek. It got to a point where I even started to smell it and your girl had to pretend like she forgot something important so I could run to the bathroom. Not that getting there helped, the damage was done. What kind of laughter were you doing? <laughs> what kind of laughter were you doing that caused you to release your entire bladder onto yourself? Like I know your crush was there and everything but there's no type of laughter that should cause that. Especially in that type of setting. Uh uh. You started to smell it? No ma'am. Or no sir. No this is crazy. I have no words honestly. That is a confession for sure. One time me and my friends were prank calling people from school and one of them recognized my voice. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> and even asked if it was me. And then the next day at school, he was with his friends and I walked by and they started laughing. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. Like that is so, so, so embarrassing. Like I would, I would melt. Because the point of a prank call is supposed to be a prank. They don't know who it is. But when they know who it is, it's not as funny. It's not, it's not cool anymore. Especially if it's not a close friend. Like if this is just a random person that goes to your school and you prank called them and they knew it was you. <laughs> Sending love to you, wherever you are. When I was in elementary school, there was a group of mean girls and everyone wanted to be in their group. So one day I went up to them and said, I wanna be in your group. I don't even know how this is gonna end, but I can relate to this story a little too much and it just began. So they said sure, but I had to eat an ant and I did, just for them to say no. That whole day I had a tummy ache and a headache, just for those stupid girls. You know what? <sighs> I can relate to this. So I had the same situation. So there are these girls, I think I was in second grade or third grade, whichever one. There were these girls, they were the, like the popular girls in my class. They were popping, it was like three of them and I wanted to be the fourth member because why not? <laughs> It's Reezy. Hello. And so I wanted to be the fourth girl in their group. Why did they say, okay, the only way you can join the group is if you say a curse word? I said mission accepted. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are? And the thing is, I wasn't even a cursing child, but you know what? I knew the curse words. I said I said it all. I said it all. And what did they do? They laughed in my face. <laughs> they laughed in my face. They laughed in my face and said, mm-mm. I had to walk away and sit with my old friends. I said, hey, y'all. <laughs> So more of the story, go to the people that naturally accept you and that's where you'll be the happiest. And to be honest, I'm very happy that I went through that experience because I don't think I ever had another situation in my life where I was trying to fit in with anyone. And that's the thing, it girls, it boys, don't have to fit in with anybody. I once had a seizure and had fallen into a water fountain. And on that day, I was wearing particularly loose tr tracksuit bottoms and underwear and they both fell down as I was seizing. When it eventually stopped, I got out of the fountain and realized I was half naked and everyone was staring at me. I was fine, thanks for asking, I only had emotional scarring. I don't know what to say. You know, people are initially looking because you're seizing. Like they want to make sure that you're good, but now you don't have anything on. And so now it's like, wait, do we look away or do, you know, like I'm just imagining myself in that situation. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Okay. I have a boyfriend and my parents don't know. If they find out, they might kick me out. Any advice? Drop the boyfriend. I'm getting the vibe that you're probably like in high school or middle school or something. And you think that this boyfriend is like the love of your life. Drop the boyfriend. I genuinely believe that like high school relationships, middle school relationships are so unimportant. Like there's no reason you should be dating. So I'm going to be one of those parents. I'm going to be like, why do you need a boyfriend? Like maybe like senior year of high school maybe junior year but like let's be very real if your parents don't want you to have a boyfriend like don't force it because think about how many years you have left to go and like why would you much rather be caught having a boyfriend who I'm not trying to speak negatively into your relationship but you know it might not last it's just gonna cause you more stress and distract you from school I don't know I just feel like
like you should listen to your parents like i feel like definitely if i was younger i would be like oh my god just hide it from them because that would have been my mentality but now that i'm older i just feel like relationships are a huge distraction if your parents don't want you to have a boyfriend like it's most likely in your benefit you just don't understand it right now because you want the boyfriend you know but i'm telling you boyfriends will come they will you have so much life to live don't let you having a boyfriend get you kicked out of the house you probably didn't expect me to say that and i feel like this video just ended on a very like serious note but this is to everybody that is not allowed to have a boyfriend like don't force it like focus on yourself focus on school focus on sports focus on whatever it is that you're doing because you have so much life to live i'm telling you but yeah those are all the confessions that i have for today thank you so much for watching i had so much fun i genuinely did not know y'all were like this i thought y'all were different you're not that different there's still 8,000 more confessions to go. Okay, this is just a little bit of what I saw. And y'all are scary people. That's all I gotta say. Y'all are scary people. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, my Instagram. But yeah, please follow me on all my social media. Hit the subscribe button become a Reezy today. And also go to my vlog channel. If I'm not here on this channel, I'm at the vlog channel. I upload vlogs every single week. Y'all are getting more of me in 2023, I promise. Anyways, I'll see you guys on my next one. I love you and peace.